You know, the Senate has condemned the trend of political parties winning 99% or 100% of seats in local government council elections across the six states, stating that democracy is at best non-existent at the local government level. The resolutions were prompted by a motion by Senate Minority Leader Abamoro, who elected voters waiting for hours without seeing election materials or officials at polling stations. We note that the provisions of Section 197 of the said Constitution together with the third schedule, part two of the constitution, have been grossly breached, and the said local government elections of 5th October 2024 in Benue State and in some parts of Nigeria were marred by rampant ma manipulation, thus thwarting the goal of establishing truly representative local governments in Nigeria. To the fact that this is a matter for our concern, not just as senators, but as ambassadors of the good people of Benue State who have cried to us and have asked us to voice this chariot out in these hallowed chambers for the attention of our colleagues so that collectively we shall find a way towards resolving this heinous political crime that is being committed at the subnational levels of this country. You will agree with me that in a democracy, election is not just a mere political activity. It is supposed to be an avenue where our mandate, our authority to provide leadership is derived from. That's the whole essence of election in a democracy. And this edifice called democracy, which we are all enjoying, didn't just come about, Mr. Senate President. People sacrificed. Lord, there's no, there was no election. Yeah, is there? No election. There was no election in Benway. Whether the PC or what, there was no election. I am. Okay. The fact that an EAPC I cannot support what is wrong. Equally note. All the senators observed that all the political parties and states were guilty of the same offence. The truth is, this is going to be a serious and difficult issue to resolve. National Assembly alone, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, cannot resolve this. We can do our part, but we must do beyond our part. We can say, okay, let's try to say INEC should do. But is that the solution? No. Even INEC, in some states, people complain about INEC. But at least the complaints are less. The... Uh uh, INEC, to allow INEC to control this, because we saw that in 1999, when INEC controlled elections to elect those to be councillors and local government chairmen, it was, that is how it was free and fair. You could find an APC, sorry, a PDP chairman in a state like uh, Kebi, where the governor was uh, an APP governor. An AMP, APP councillor, the councillor and chairman in Kano State, when PDP was a DP, a, a, the governor was a PDP, uh, you know, person. So that has to be done. We saw free. Because of probably the Senate president has called for national dialogue to address sham elections as the third tier of government. Take seriously, but the faster the better. I want us to conclude on the, all these uh, constitutional amendments, electoral amendments, and then look at uh, ensuring full autonomy for, for state assemblies, ensuring financial autonomy for local governments. If, that is, if we can achieve those things under the administration of President Bola Mechinibu, then we would have been able to set the democratic process at, uh, uh, on the right track. And I think that's, that should be our commitment. So observe what they are doing, uh, because this one is akin to somebody sitting down 
to do critical committee and then using the name of election to uh, to to cover it hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates